perhaps, this person might say, you know, send in, they think they're usually talking to another, you know, peer. And they'll say, you know, I send a nude image. By then, two days later, this other person, this stranger knows where you live, you've confided, you know, the child usually, I've got a dog, I got a sister in this school, oh, my parents don't listen to me. Our children are so vulnerable these days, they're giving it away, their information. They want attention, right? Look at, look at the adults dancing on TikTok. I'm like in shock. I'm usually talking, and I'm not being judgy, everybody, but come on now. I mean, kids are watching, even if we think they're not. So uh, just keep that in mind. We have to be role models. And um, the thing I want to say is sextortion is attacking our teen boys. Mm -hmm. And the boys are usually the ones, I call them kind of the forgotten ones, usually with sex trafficking and all of this. We talk about girls, right, and women. The boys are embarrassed really embarrassed they will not tell anybody and fbi has put out an extreme warning that this is the biggest money maker right now because they're, they're not stepping up they're not talking about it and they're so afraid to go to their parents or their caregivers or you know families make up all kinds of people today right and so we've got you know sometimes older siblings taking care of their younger ones so we have to include everybody in this talk 